There's nothing worse than your camera dying halfway through when you're actually filming. Like, do you not realise how inconvenient that is? Tap it off. Oh no. This one is higher than this one. I don't know how the hell I'm going to fix this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So today is going to be something a little bit different. I am going to be doing a talk view, talk view, a talk through um, video for you guys. And I'm also going to be testing out some new makeup and also some makeup, makeup that I just haven't used for a very long time and some makeup that I've just used once or twice most of this makeup is from my glossy box and i've just like kind of just put it in a drawer for the last three months and just kind of built it up i haven't got enough of new products for a full face but i've got some and some again i just haven't used in a very very long time so i just want to see how they actually appear on the face because majority of the products i can't remember and obviously majority of them are also um new as well so i'm really super eh excited so the first product i've actually just used on my face which i've used before so i knew it was really really good and moisturizing is the hydrating rose facial i can't speak proper today facial spray um aloe vera mist and this is really really nice it smells absolutely beautiful it smells like aloe vera and rose and yeah i've got this like a few well not a few probably about two years back um and I've only used it once or twice and yeah it's just really really nice and hydrating. My skin is oily anyway but it has been quite dry as well lately. It's a bit of um got a bit of combination skin going on recently and I have some um breakouts as well so just kind of ignore them. So um yeah I absolutely love that. So um I've got a few new skin products to try out today. One of them is actually um the Star Skin Dream Kiss Plumping and Hydrating bio cello loose lip mask don't know if i said that properly probably haven't i've never tried one of these before they're actually a lip mask and they're in the shape of your lips i've seen a lot of beauty influencers and youtubers try these before i just haven't actually tried them myself before so i'm gonna do that it that in a moment um also for the skin i'm gonna be using this i think it's either pronounced boy b or bb i can't i don't really know this also came in a glossy box um as well and this is the strawberry booster and it's vegan and cruelty free i haven't used this at all um it's just like one of them oils that you just put on your face and yeah i just wanted to use it i know i've got oily skin but i just wanted to see how it felt i'm only going to put a bit on but because of the foundation i'm using today um it is quite thick so i still want a really um moistured base just so it doesn't really stick and like you know stick all to my dry I choose to put a bit in this uh, bright case as well because that might be a little bit dry. It isn't as oily as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's like a weird texture to be honest. Like it starts off really oily and then it goes almost like... Um, it feels really, really nice. It's like definitely really nice and moisturising but it doesn't really feel that oily. I mean, there is a bit of oiliness texture to it, but from other serums I've actually used on my face before, it doesn't feel that oily at all. It feels really, really nice and hydrating. And to be honest, it's really um, sunk into my skin. Really, really nice and lovely. I'm now gonna try um, this lip mask because I am literally like, oh God. This is not going to go well. It's literally going everywhere already. I'm going to have to get like a little towel out on my desk because I can just see this going everywhere already and yeah, it's just not going to work out. I think it's going to be bigger than my face. Is there only one in here? Yeah, there's only one in. So it looks something like this. Okay, so it says that you need to get rid of something on here. I mean, I really don't know how they expect you to do this when it's all bloody slippery. Aha! So once this is on, I'm going to go and do my brows because I haven't got a new brow product. And obviously this is going to be on for 20 minutes. And that is literally... Ooh! <laughs> this is not going well at all. That is literally how long it takes me. I can't even find the shape of the lip at all to put on my lips. It's kind of crinkled up. This is not going to do it at all. This is why I don't test out new makeup on camera because it never goes well. Right, I'm gonna stick it on. It's really, really slimy. Why is it so big? Ooh, oh my God. I have weird lips. But yeah, let's give that a go. I am literally gonna put a timer 
on my phone. I'm gonna try 15 minutes to be honest. 15 minutes is on. We're gonna see how it looks and I'm gonna go and do my brew. Right, so 15 minutes are up. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take it off because... Ooh. Wow. My lips feel so moisturized. My li I always suffer with really, really bad dry cracked lips and I'm forever biting my lips on the worst for it. Jake always goes mad at me for biting them and honestly, that has made my lips feel absolutely beautiful. Like, they're really, really nice and soft. Ooh, I'm gonna have to definitely get me another one of those. So I'm gonna do a really bright, well, try and do a really bright makeup look today with my eyes. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Fix and Rogue Wonder Love Charm um, Glow Alexia. This is like a highlighter, but you can put it over your face. Um, and it actually says that you need to let it dry before actually putting your makeup over, uh, like foundation over the top of it. Um, or you can just use it by itself. I also got this in glossy box. So I'm gonna do put this on before um, I start doing my eyes just because I want it to dry properly. Um, I mean, you don't, I don't have to do this step, but I really, really wanna try this. I'll probably try it over my foundation one of the times, but I ain't put a lot on because I don't really want a lot of products underneath my skin with a foundation that I'm going to be using. That has gone like really really glowy. Can you see like the natural glow it's giving me? Oh, Honestly guys I'm loving these products at the moment like um, it's got a bit of a tacky layer which is brilliant because obviously um, the foundation will apply really really nicely. So I've done the brows just to know them a little bit crazy at the moment but I'm going to go in with an eye primer. I never ever use an eye primer. I always go in with a concealer on my eyes just because I prefer it that way because it's a really really full coverage one but um, I had this brought for me so I thought I'd give it a go and it's actually like a neutral shade as well. It's kind of the same shade as the concealer that I would use. So this is from the MARC um, Magic Spike makeup brand. Um, I get these out of Avon. I always rave about their brand. Um, I currently have one of their primers and it's absolutely fantastic. You've probably heard me um, go on about it before. This is in the shade Light Beige. The tone was a bit pinky when I first put it on, but say I blended it in, um, it's a really nice fresh base, I think, underneath the eyeshadow. Um, and yeah, it's carved my brows out perfectly um, fine and I don't know, it just feels like really, really nice on the eye. It's not creasing at all, but I am just going to set it because I do get quite oily throughout the day. So I am just going to set that in place just so um, it doesn't move in case it would. Right, I'm going to go in with a number of palettes that I don't really use that often. The first one is the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. The other one is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, I think. Yeah, the Rose Gold palette. And then the next one that I'm going to be using is the Zulu by Juvia's palette. Um, I wanted to do, like, I looked in this palette and I was looking at some of the colours that I haven't actually used yet. And um, I haven't actually used the purple. Now I thought that's like really, really bright. So I'm going to try and mute it with some of the Marvy purpley tones in these two palettes as well. I'm going to dip into the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to go in with Buon Fresco. And it's like this lilac -y lavender shade. I watch other YouTubers uh, like Soph does life now, it's not Soph just now, Soph does life. Majority or 90%, 95% of her um, videos um, are actually all talk throughs and I actually enjoy watching them more. And I, just, I don't know, I just feel like communicating to you guys a little more so I thought I'd just do something different and yeah, just talk to you and you know, being in this lockdown, it's all you want to do sometimes is just hear like a different voice. So. That shade is now on, so I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. I'm going to go in with this shade here, and this is in the shade um, Shy. I don't know where to go for an all matte look, because I rarely ever do an all matte, matte look. Um, I'll put a bit of shimmer on the eyes. I have got a new purple shimmer. Um, just because it's in a highlighter palette that I'm going to be using obviously I'm not going to purple highlight on my face so I don't know where to put that over the top but yeah how are you guys getting on like with lockdown like some days I'm really really struggling some days I'm not some days I'm fine 
me and Jake are actually working from home at the moment um, just because I'm still currently off work uh, because of my back is really, really bad. So um, they are letting me work from home for a while. Jake's got a new job and he's working from home. Um, Jake is actually working with the NHS app, the track and trace one, which tells you when you've been in um, contact with someone who's got COVID-19. So that's like really interesting at the moment. Like, yeah, how are you all guys coping with it all? Um, I'm trying to go on a walk every single day just to try and strengthen my back up because it is absolutely killing me. Um, so walking is one of the best things for your back, but at the moment it just doesn't seem to be helping. I'm gonna go in to the Zillow by um, Juvia's palette now, and I'm gonna go in with this really, really bright purple. Um, I think it's gonna be really, really bright compared to these, but we'll see. Right, what I'm gonna do is, because this is looking crazy at the moment, I'm gonna go in with them two same shades out of the Huda Beauty and Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm just gonna try and blend this out and try and not lose any pigmentation of the actual purple shade. I'm gonna attempt to carve out my um crease a little bit i am gonna have to do this off camera because i just can't do any of that on camera so i'll be right back right i've kind of just cleaned that up the best i could and it's looking a little bit better um i've just used the same primer that i did on my eye just to carve that out and honestly it's really really good for carving out um i am gonna put a little bit of shimmer on the shade just because i do think it looks bare um so to do this I'm also going to be using this on my face. This is quite old product, but I've never used it before. I've always wanted to get it. It's the Sleek Highlighter Palette, and it just looks like this. So I'm going to be using this purple shade. I'm just going to pop that on um, the lid. Oh my god. That is such a stunning colour. So the next thing, I don't know how to feel about it. I also got this out of Glossy Box and this is the Ciarte Stamp and Drag Winged Liner Pen. Now I have been seeing these floating around social media for such a long time now and I've always been like, that is not going to work. And so I've actually seen it work on people and sometimes I haven't actually seen it work at all. So one end is the stamp and then the other end is the pen. Now, the stamp is fine, but the pen looks really, really thick, so I don't actually know how that is going to work. Right, I'm going to try and do this. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's just give it a go. Oh my god, it actually worked. That worked. Okay, let's try the pen. So I think this is going to be way too thick. It glows on like really, really good and really, really easy. This isn't gonna go very well, I don't think. Oh no. This one is higher than this one. That's the best I can do. Like, I like it and then I hate it because this eye actually turned out really, really good and then this I wanted to do to go the opposite direction and have a day by itself. So, yeah, I've done the best I could. It's really, it, it is like a really fun idea if you can get them symmetrical, but obviously I couldn't. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Right, so I've gone in with different lashes. So I just used the one from Isla in the style Exaggerate, and yeah, they look really, really pretty. I'm just going to use this Pillow Plump um, by Soap and Glory. I haven't really used it, just like this little plumping lip gloss. I'm just going to put it on and see if it actually works. It's looking quite oily now because of all the products that I've used. So I'm just going to go in with um, the number seven airbrush away primer. I always use this as well just because it's really, really nice and hydrating. And it's got like a silicon feel to it, which those are my favorite type of primers just because I feel like they work. I'm literally going to go in with, I actually had this um, for my birthday. So it's the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in the shade number three, Neutral. I did use this in my birthday um, vlog. I didn't know what to make of it just because I didn't really use that much. And I used the wrong primer with it. I'm just going to apply this with a damp beauty blender because of, it does say on a website to use her brush but I didn't have a brush so I used something similar um, of a brush that I had but it doesn't didn't seem to work either so I'm going to try today with a damp beauty blender and see if it works 
any better. It might be a little bit light for me just because I have got a little bit of tan of sitting in the garden. It does say you can build it up so I'll probably just put on some of the blemishes and red um, areas of my skin that it hasn't seemed to cover up but so far let's just put on the ears because I do have like really red ears for some reason so I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit more on and I am gonna do one side of my face first because then it doesn't dry too fast and then we can actually tell the difference okay so already I can see the difference from this side to that side um, it's a lot more um more full coverage and it, you know what it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all it still feels quite moisturizing to say like it does feel like a quick a quick a thick textured and um, foundation so yeah as you can see it's covered them up like really really well now so yeah i don't think i have a bad thing to say about this foundation apart from it being um too light for my skin tone right next for concealer oh my god like i'm literally gonna have to bronze up my face so much um next for concealer i haven't used this for absolutely ages i just remember loving it so much this is the revolution super size conceal and define full coverage concealer and this is in the shade c6 i used to absolutely go crazy about this so i'm just gonna conceal some areas I don't need a lot just because this foundation is giving me a lovely coverage at the moment. My skin is actually giving me life right now. It is looking so good and like really really healthy. Like I'm literally gonna have to zoom you in and actually show you what it looks like because it's looking like really really flawless at the moment. So I don't know if you can see but this foundation is like left like a kind of a um, sheen on my face as well so it's making it look like really nice and healthy and glowy. Yes it is too light but honestly I love the, um, the look that it's left on my skin. It looks very very nice and healthy, very refreshed and yeah i just absolutely love the way it's left my skin i think the concealer looks really really nice with it as well these are the eyes currently um they're wearing on me they're a little bit bright but uh yeah i absolutely love this foundation i just think it's making my skin look really really nice right so that is the foundation now i have got a new setting powder i'm absolutely crapping myself like this is the mark hd finishing powder and this is also from hd from HD this is also from the Avon and I know I love their products but honestly this powder is white I just hope to god it hasn't got any kind of flashback I will be using that in a second but also what I've actually um, seen online that everyone is doing there is a trend that's going about at the moment to actually set your face with powder first before you're actually going in with um, your setting loose powder so I am going to try that I've actually got this tip um from a blogger she also does vlogging as well i think her name's sarah i can't remember the last name but um yeah i um, i got this tip from um her and honestly her skin looked really really nice when she did it so i'm just going to be going in with the charlotte tilbury pest pressed pressed powder and this is in the shade number two medium i love this powder it's really really nice and i'm gonna go in with my new makeup brushes that my mom kindly bought me for my birthday they are so so soft and can we just say these are gonna get really really dirty because these are pure white well honestly they're really really expensive and you can actually tell they're really expensive because of the quality of the um, bristles on this brush to feel so so soft this is the large tapered powder brush in f07 and this is from soul beauty so i'm literally just um gonna go in and just dirty my brush basically but yeah i'm just gonna go in and set my face first Right, so I'm going to go in with this extremely white powder. I'm absolutely crapping myself. I've just took the lid off and it's really, really good because it's got one of them like safety um, caps on. So you just turn it. So let me show you. Let me try and show you. So you just turn it like that. So obviously you can shut and close it like because I am forever always putting my loose powders in upside down or they fall all over the place in the drawers and when I come back when I take them back out and take the lid off like all the powders going into the lid. So that is really, really good. Right, I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny little bit And press it under the eyes right and then i'm literally i'm literally going to swipe that off just 
just because I'm not going to leave a white register because how fine that powder is. I'm just going to see if it gives any kind of flashback. There doesn't seem to be any flashback but looking on there like this foundation is so so white. Right next for a bronzer I haven't used in such a long time and I don't know where I've still got a hold of it. It's probably like out of date by now but it's really really good. It is the Technique Colour Fix um, Contour and Highlight Palette. I used to love these two shades. So I'm going to go in with the Angled Brush from Soul Beauty in F10. And I'm first going to go in with this colour here. Just because it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to bronze up. Because honestly, I'm looking white as a ghost now compared to the rest of my body. These powders are really, really nice just because you, you didn't actually, you couldn't actually go overboard with them just because they're so buildable. And then I'm going to go in with the darker one just to try and bronze up a little bit deeper and also maybe contour a little bit. Alright, now that I'm nice and bronze, I'm definitely going to still keep that palette because I absolutely love it. I'm going to go in with um, also another Charlotte Tilbury um, product. This is what I got from... Um, my sister for my birthday this is the pillow talk cheek to cheek swish and glow blusher in the shade intense i believe so these are really really good so you get the blusher on the outside but then you get like a shimmery shade on the inside and it gives like a really really nice glow but i'm just going to brush off that brush that i use for my bronzer and then i'm going to go in with that brush so what i like to do is swirl around the outside first as you can see it's really really pigmented i didn't even mean to pick up that much and then just gonna sweep it on to the cheeks it's like a really really pretty color really really pigmented don't need a lot at all and i think i've put too much on i'm just gonna go in with that shimmery shade and just hit the cheeks don't know if you can see that tiny tiny shimmer it's really really subtle but really really pretty right and because i've put too much on yeah i'm just gonna blend it in with my face powder brush and then i'm just gonna damp my beauty blender over the top of that as well right next for highlighter i'm gonna go in with that sleek palette and i'm gonna use a lighter shade in the palette there is a cream shade but i'm not really good with cream highlighter at all so i'm gonna take a mixture to be honest so I'm going to take a mixture of this colour and this colour. Oh my god, they're really, really pigmented. Ooh, that is stunning. Oh my god, look how pigmented that is. That is absolutely stunning. Like, these are like really, really nice. They're actually melting like butter on my face, and I love putting the highlighter on my cheek because when the light hits it, it just bounces off. Uh, I'm also going to put this on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose because I have a big nose and I like to make it look a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to line my lips with the Pro Fusion um, lip liner and this is in the shade Matte Neutral. As you can see, I absolutely love this lip liner. <laughs> There's literally barely nothing left on it. Right. Now for the lipstick, I'm going to go in with Emco Beauty Long Lasting Lipstick and this is meant to be long wearing, ultra creamy formula and hydrating finish. This is in the shade um, Flawless. Now this is meant to be like a really nude lipstick but when I um, actually swatched it, it came out a lot more pinker than I thought so I might have to put a new lipstick over it but I just love the packaging that it's actually coming like it feels really really nice and matte for and it's very sleek but yeah I just absolutely love it and I've been wanting a new lipstick for ages. Yeah, it's a lot more pinker. Uh, it doesn't really make sense because on the booklet that I actually come with said it was nude. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in the shade 600 Nude Eclipse. I used to love these lipsticks. Well, lip lacquer. Um, and they're really, really nude. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit and mute the colour. There we go. And I haven't got a new setting spray as of yet, so I'm going to go in with my trusty Urban Decay Setting Mist. So guys, this is the end result. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I absolutely love the eyes. It's definitely 
best thing I could have done going for a bright eye today just to brighten up my spirits and the makeup the new makeup products I absolutely love I love the colour of this lipstick now I've put the nude over the top of it it feels really comfortable the foundation has left a really really nice flawless looking um, skin effect on my actual skin I absolutely love it the highlight palette it speaks for itself. I just absolutely love all this makeup. Let me know if you want to see more videos of me testing out new makeup. Um, obviously, these are all products from Glossy Box, so I do like keep all the makeup back from Glossy Box and just keep it in a drawer just because I do want to test them out, but I'd rather test them out with you guys. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram page. It's just at Jade Vanessa Mosley. But yeah, until next time, stay safe, stay home and stay healthy and just look after one another and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. I love you all so much and yeah, bye.